Hello guys, welcome to Trudy Home and in today's tutorial I'll be doing something special, okay? Um, I got a request that I should, um, you know, show you guys how to model a vertical and also curved arc, okay? Curved arc. Should I call that an arc? Yeah, just let's just see vertical kind of shape. Um, yeah, let, let's call it arc. Let's call it arc. <laughs> All right, so since I have enough columns here, all right, so I'll be using this, um, I'll be using this particular um, entrance. I'll be using these two columns to demonstrate that, right? Okay, so let's proceed without wasting much of that time. So the first thing is, um, click on your south elevation. Once you click on south elevation, there's something you will see, all right? So we have the first column here, and we have the second column here. And then the idea is for us to get a straight beam and then curve this other arc okay to curve this other column let this column have a curve shape that's what i want to do now okay so first thing is click on that particular elevation view okay if yours is um if yours is at the left side make sure you click on the elevation that will view this particular point but since this one is at the front i'm using this front elevation okay so now let's click on south elevation, which is the front elevation. And then now pick line two. We're making use of two tools here, all right? Which is line two. And then the next one I'll show you as we proceed with the work. So first one is click on the line two, all right? Now let's draw that particular shape we have in mind, okay? Let's say this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one from here to here. And um, the down one, let's say from here to here, and then from here to this point, okay. Let's take this one from here to this other point, and then this one to this other point. We're trying to create something, all right. So, since we've gotten the shape now, now let's curve this part, okay. Let's curve this part, but before then, let me take this line down, let me take this one down. Okay, I'm going to create a separate line that will be able to, you know, cover that particular side. So now I'll click on this one. I'll continue the line from this particular point to this other side. Okay, now I'll click on this particular line. Hold the middle. Click on the middle and select this um, curve edge. You can see the curve edge here. Okay, you can see the curve edge. Either use curve edge or use this, um, this segment. So anyhow you want to do it. So anyone you feel like using, okay, you see the same thing. So I'll click on this one and move the cursor backward. So this is the curve now. You can see the curve now. All right. So this is the curve. And if you feel like adding other stuff, just use line two to do them, okay? But for now, let's just create this curve, okay? So after getting this curve, make sure everywhere is enveloped, okay? Make sure it's closed. Make sure it's covered. So from here to here is covered from here to here. I make sure I draw a line from here to this side, to this side, to this side, like this before I curve to this particular one. So the next thing to use now is our morph tool. Okay. Let's make use of the morph tool. Click on morph tool, hold down space bar and click inside. Okay. Click inside, which is here. Okay. And there's something we are missing. Click on Move to hold down your space bar button. The space is selected but it's not showing. Let's see if we can take this one out. Okay. Let's see if we can take it out. Since we've gotten that particular shape, let's see if we can just, you know, move this one outside. Let's bring it here. Don't worry, we'll still take it back. So now let's be sure that everything is well closed. Okay. Now still click on your morph tool. All right. Hold down your spacebar button and click inside. You can see it's highlighted now. All right. It's highlighted now. So now let's move this thing back to this other side where it was. Okay. Where it was, which is here. All right. We need to bring it outside a little yeah all right so now let's go find it click on 3d 
you can see where it is now okay now it depends on the thickness the thickness of this particular thing depends on the thickness of your column okay if you want them to align or to have the same thickness you want this one to have the same thickness as the column so what you need to do is if you know your column um thickness that's fine or if you don't know you can pick this measuring tape this measuring tape and then measure from here to here you can see that it's two to five the distance here is showing two to five so now um ignore that one for now so click on this one and hold down this black dot line you're seeing pull it inside but before you do that let me do that again click on this morph material click on this dot you're seeing click on two this is two and then you can see the thickness is increasing so let's just type in the thickness of the column which is two to five enter then right click and click on ok so this is it now all right so let's move it inside we can do that by um you know holding down this one and clicking on drag make sure you select drag so now let's move it all the way to this point to this point and let's check if we've gotten it nope we need to move this one a little bit backward to this side so uh -huh. oh okay 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 so if this one is not covered so that means we need to work on this one again something is not this there's a space here don't worry we'll do the same thing we'll do the same thing but before then let's just quickly um if you get it right okay it will cover but since we didn't get this other side all right we're going to use um we're going to just you know create another simple one as fast as um possible so let's first of all change the material you click on the, the morph all right click on this uh, morph um edit this um ah click on this um setting dialog okay once you click here click on setting dialogs and from setting dialogs let's just change the material under this override surface change it to white same as the column material so you can see yeah it's turning the same thing now let's quickly model this remaining part okay let's model this remaining part initially we drew this line okay we'll forget to pick this one so let's just quickly do that again all right so pay attention pay attention your line first pick your line draw that particular shape that you have in mind okay and then after getting the envelope okay click on morph press and hold down your spacebar button and click inside if it's not activating please don't forget to move it to one side okay let's move it to this side and then to be sure that everything is intact and now click on the morph tool again and hold down your spacebar key and click inside you see it's activated it's activated now so now move this one back to the same spot and then let's go back to our 3d let's find it you can see it here now click here and then click on two don't forget it's the dotted line all right and then now type in the thickness two to five enter right click and click on ok okay so now let's move this let's move this you can see drag let's drag it all the way to this point it's covered now all right so go in and change the material again to white material click ok you can see we have that particular curve now so the, the what i just wanted to know is that just first of all get use line to to draw that particular shape you want anyhow you want to curve it anyhow if you feel like bringing this side outside if you feel like going deeper than this anyhow you feel like doing the act okay use first of all use line two to do it and then once you're done with the line to make sure everything is covered together all right thank god that um, while we're clicking directly from here it was not working we had to like take it back to this side okay forget the lines you can see the existing lines these ones are just the lines to guide the morph tool to give us that particular shape so after getting that one once you move it back forget about the line it's not going to show on a 3d okay so the thing is even when it's not working here make sure you pull it 
um, remove it from here take it one side where you can see everything that is um, to be sure that is covered before you click inside okay so you can see we have what we want and if you don't like the way the lines are green just click on them click on the move material go inside setting dialogs you can see the green line here change it to black you see three places change the second one and the third one to black and click ok you can see that is giving you a sharp vibe now all right so thank you for your time thank you for you know staying up to this level all right thank you for staying up to this level and um, if you find the tutorial helpful please don't forget all right to subscribe and if you have any other question please drop it on the comment section i'll be so excited to attend to you all right so see you on our next tutorial